it's old, but I did not read it last time. And Dota Notes did also donate it $10 as well, uh, which is a bit older. But I just wanted to shout it out because I don't believe I did. Uh, we did get quite a few subscribers as well today. Uh, we had Ziev, X-E-A-Z, subscribe. Thank you so much, man, and welcome to the family, brother. Also, Kai Mages subscribed. I'm familiar with who Kai Mages is, a longtime supporter of GCD TV. And, of course, Trip LOL has subscribed. Welcome, everybody, to the family. We are currently 11 out of 25 subscribers of our subscriber goal and $258 out of our $500 goal. Um, so, well, here we go. We're going to jump into the next game here. Tony from the Bronx versus Kids of Freak. And do we have a double thumbs up? We have a double thumbs up coming out from Clutter. And we're going to jump into this next series here. Here we go, guys. If you're unfamiliar with GCD TV, we host these tournaments every single week here at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific on Friday and Saturday every single week. So if you want to catch the epic PvP action, make sure to hit that follow button to be notified when we go live. And here we go. All right, guys. We're going to jump into the very first game here. And it it's is. a matchup we've seen a couple times. Yeah, uh, so as like a... <laughs> you, you know this comp more than anyone else I know, Supa. Turbo Cleave. Does it have an advantage against WLS? Give us a scoop. It can be hard for the Warlock uh, to deal with his pet constantly getting killed. Um, and how much pressure... It really just comes down to how good Gureki is going to be at fake casting. If he's able to get a lot of UAs out, then that's when it's hard for Tony from the Bronx. So we're going to have to see how well they can shut down Gureki. Yeah, we'll see, man. I mean, we have saw Dilly Poo, his jungle team, try to shut down Gorecki, and uh, honestly, it looked a little bit unsuccessful. There still was a lot of pressure, but who knows what can happen here. Right away, Smexon is going to go ahead and jump onto Tony, the Enhancement Shaman. Tony looking for his kill target. I'm not sure who they're going to go on just yet. Looks like they're actually looking at that Observer, the pet, right away to try to give maybe uh, their healer a bit more breathing room, but the Nature Swiftness and the Sham Rage coming out from Tony's team. There's the Storm Bolt onto Hotted as well. Losa taking some pressure just the you can already see the overwhelming pressure of the WLS coming out there's the fear on the hot TKO but he is gonna break out of it oh he's actually tremoring out of it into a fear Losa trying to get offensive on the absurds dipping down to 30% healthier with that recklessness he's gonna gate away he should be okay for now but smacks it now on the back foot yeah, using the regen heal, double shatter fury landed on the DPS, Stormbolt onto Haunted TKO into a full hex. Uh, it's going to break to the damage. It would have been dispelled nonetheless. Abster's trying to take advantage of the time that he can, though, to be offensive here. Losa swapping over to him, though. Smexon coming back to hit Losa and try and get him off of Abster. Drops the Cloud Burst Totem, trying to get some preemptive healing going. It's going to get chopped up, though. Uh, the Iron Bark used onto Losa as he's playing very offensive on the Abster. Uh, he does put him into the full shockwave. Haunted TKO trying to keep the Hots rolling on his team. Iron Bark is fading by a charge stun on Absurge. It might be the first spirit link of the game here. Double Shadow Free Lance, uh, Tony Jr. as well as Losa, both going to trinket that. Hotted TKO getting fully dotted with Haunt, taking a bunch of pressure. He's going to nature swiftness. It doesn't do too much. Tony's trying to throw some off healing here. Gorecki's Dark Soul doing a bunch of work. Hotted TKO getting spam feared right now while the damage is ticking on him. Basically stun locking him for three seconds here. Absurge on the back foot as well, though, at 20%. Into execute range shortly. Drops the rally and the link prior to the triple shockwave here. Both teams applying an immense amount of pressure. Absurge getting charged on now, the rallying cry gonna fade here shortly and not be available. Double stun into Storm Bull on Hada TKO. He's gonna bark skin the swap to him. He's not in bear form. He's taking a lot of damage from Smexen uh, and Smexen forcing that bark skin. Nonetheless, the haunted up now is or the haunt is up. Hada TKO displacer beast into the other side of the map. His mana is doing very well here. Uh, we're gonna be looking for that next stun combination out from Kids of Freak. Triple Shockwave coming out from Losa on everyone on Kids of Freak. Absurd just taking a relentless amount of pressure and interrupts from this Turbo Cleave. And the Losa is just on his tail with the Heroic Leap. Absurd looking to get a cast off, but he is going to get kicked by Losa. He's scared right now. He has another link available to them. Is he going to have to use it? But at the same time, this constant aggression from this Turbo Cleave is putting a toll on Hotted TKO. He's having trouble keeping up his double melee DPS here. Absurd just running away from these guys as long as 
as he possibly can. He's dipping down to 40% healthy. He's going to catch a heal, though, come back up to 60% healthier. Smexon going to Stormbolt hotted here, dipping down to 40% health. Whenever this turbo can't connect to Absurge, they're still doing pressure somewhere. And it looks like Smexon is taking a bit of that pressure now, but now they're going to reconnect to Absurge with that Blade Storm Recklessness coming out from Melosa, and Absurge is taking a whole bunch of damage. Smexon forced to use that Dive by the Sword, not even being the kill target at that moment, but Absurge is going to catch a huge heal on top huge. of himself up, man. That was bananas huge. The double shockwave going out onto Smexon and Absurge. Absurge zipping down to 30% mm. health here. Is this oh. going to be it? The charge stun also comes out. Is this going to be another spirit link? Absurge getting dangerously, dangerously low at 30% health. At the same time, Tony's team is just constantly pushing in and line of sighting hotted, uh, but they're still doing good. <laughs> this is Recklessness coming out from Smexon. He wants to do damage. He wants to force this turbo off of his shaman. Tony Jr. dipping down to 30% health here. He has the iron bark up, but isn't enough. Nature Swiftness is coming out from Hotted as well. Sham Rage even being forced as well. And now all of a sudden, the back foot is coming out from Tony from the Bronx. Yeah, all of the trinkets being used on that stun there. Loso just sitting on Absurge trying to uh, tax his mana. The Aura Master was used there by Absurge to get some guaranteed heals off. It's going to be fading shortly. He's got one link remaining and a trinket. Greki dotting out both of the melee DPS. Hot TKO just spamming dispels over and over. He's going to get feared up. Absurge at 50%. However, double Shadow Fury going to land on Tony and Loso. Loso is going to use that regen heal. Tony should get some big heals for himself here shortly. Absurge looking kind of grim right now as he shockwaved to 38% HP. 15% oh! HP. Almost going down there. Stormbolt on hot TKO, but the charge stun connects. 22% HP is going to be the second link here. Another Sphere Link available in 22 seconds. He has to be able to survive to that second link. Uh, Smexon going for the Blade Storm onto Tony. Shamrage not available for nine more seconds, but he doesn't care. He's keeping the pressure up. The Warlock pet in the meantime going down here. Uh, Gorecki's going to resummon it once again. Smexon trying to get pressure out onto hot TKO, but Absurd is dipping dangerously low. The double Shadow Fury Stormbolt onto hot TKO. Absurd goes into the full Shockwave. Colossus Smash is going to connect. Losa gets charged on Smexon desperately trying to peel for Absurge here. The Ascendance is going to be faded. And it, 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 he didn't get any healing off of the Ascendance. He's got really nothing left but this last link. Uh, his team is kind of split up right now. Greki's trying to get the pressure rolling onto Hotted. The Haunt's going to connect, bring him to 40%. He's going to dispel the dots. Absurge at 40% as well. Hotted TKO into the full fear. Tony has to use the Shamanistic Grage to medicate the damage that Smexon is just outputting right now. Absurge has the Colossus Smash up onto him. Double Shadow Fury onto the DPS. Hotted TKO's mana as well. Absurge both getting taxed. Uh, dampening at 2% now. Recklessness fading for Losa. Die by the sword used by Smexon. Absurge just having a really hard time, but he's doing great so far to stay alive. One more link remaining. Goes into the shockwave. Has his trinket if he needs to do it. Tony pops the ascendance here to try and push Absurge over the edge. He's desperately trying to stay alive. Greki into the bash. He gets locked out. Smexon rotting as well to 60%. Absurge at 40%. On TKO pushing in here. He's going to bark skin a storm bolt onto Losa. Tony rotting down here. Dampening still stacking up. It is, man, and both of these healers are feeling it. The fear goes out in Absurd's on his aura mastery. It is going to fade, and Absurd's is scared at 60% healthier. He does have a trinket link available to them, but uh, looking at Hotted's team, Tony Jr. dipping down is going to have to catch that Iron Bark to keep him offensive, and Absurd's is just desperately just trying to stay alive as best he can. That's going to be the trinket coming out from Absurd's getting caught into that stun, and Smexon all of a sudden is taking a whole bunch of pressure, forced to use that regen. He's using right Recklessness to try to put the pressure back onto them. Shamanistic Rage coming up from Tony Jr. to answer that Recklessness. But is it going to be enough as Smexon is still still scared? Rallying Cry even being forced as well. So Absurge at 15% mana. He's trying to use that Water Shield, but he's just taking so much damage. Rallying Cry is going to fall for this team. And both Smexon and Absurge are going to dip lower and lower. How did TKO though? It only has 30% mana left. And Tony Jr. is just taking an enormous amount of pressure from this WLS. And it's just relentless for both teams. Hotted TKO caught into that storm bolt at this point. Smexon into the shockwave. He's going to trinket the one second shockwave. Scared of dipping down to execution range and keeping himself alive. Absurge now is the focus for this turbo. They're connecting once again at 19% mana. Absurge is so Ooh. scared. He has that link available to them. He's going to have to press it here soon as he's dipping lower and lower. Ooh. But Lowe says at 90% health, he's going to uh. use the rally and cry. The iron bar coming out as well, but the full fear lands on the Hotted TKO. If this turbo can survive, Absurge 
Wizards could go down, but can they survive? At Hotted, just taking so, so much pressure. The Stormbolt goes out into him. He's at 12% mana. The Warrior Fear defensively onto Goreki to try to stop this onslaught of dots. Absurge now at 50% health as they switch back over to him. Still taking a bit of mana. He's just con constantly using that Water Shield instead of the Earth Shield to try to get some mana back to keep his team in it. But he has to use the Earth Shield. He has to. As he's just taking so, so much damage. And at 16% dampening, both of these teams are feeling it. Absur is taking the lead on mana though at 14%. Ascendance is up for him. He's going to get a big healing increase here. How did TKO getting connected by Smexen? Putting the pressure onto him. He's going to displace their beast here. Trying to kite away, but he blinked into a wall. Smexen's going to reconnect. He's dipping low in execute range. He's camping the very back. Just him. What? 2%, 3%. He's not going to be able to survive. Smexen reconnects and barely dodging death for a few seconds. Los Tony Jr. not able to finish the job and Smex and point it through when it was looking grim for his team the entire match. Oh my gosh, what an amazing series that we have on our hands here, buddy. Both of these teams are basically just racing to the finish line, and the finish line is either Absurd's dying or the just the consistent pressure of all of Tony from the Bronx falling behind and that was a very, very close game, and somehow, some way, Smexen landed a kill on Tahada TKO there, and the first win is gonna go to Kids of Freak at 20% dampening. Amazing, amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and ask these team. I'm gonna go ahead and ask Kids of Freak what composition they're gonna be playing. I'm gonna ask uh, Tony from the Bronx what map they want next. So, watching that that game, Supo, what do you think? Um, what do you think happened that went wrong for Tony from the Bronx? It was just a certain point where they Absurds took the lead on mana. I don't know what exactly he did. It's just his cooldowns rotated up at a perfect time. His Ascendants came right up right when he was running low on mana. And at the same time, Ironbark and Ness had been used on the side of Tony from the Bronx. So it was just a, a cooldown rotation which swung the momentum for uh, Smex in there, which l allowed him to kill him, basically. Uh, Deafening was so high that he wasn't able to recover even with Smex and Bashed. Um, luckily, surviving really at 1%, <laughs> miraculously. Um, but they really wanted to keep the pressure on to Absturge. I would have liked to see them commit more to the Warlock pet. Uh, he did keep a, a, a counter spell pet for the entire game, regardless of the, the times that they did kill it. So I feel like it was a bit of an overextension from the Turbo overstaying their welcome, and Smexion was just finally able to punish it. Yeah, yeah. That did give me quite a bit of insight on what was going on there. It's so handy to have someone who's familiar with the compositions and plays the compositions to tell me what's happening. It's so handy to have. But this is Losers Round 3, guys. This is a best of three, and the team that loses this series is going to be eliminated from the tournament. And the team that wins this series is going to go on to the Losers Bracket semifinals, which is going to determine who's going to be facing Nice Ones Are You in the finals. But here we go. The second map of this best of three series is going to be played out on Ruins of Lordaeron. Some issues on one of these teams here, guys. It's an add-on issue coming out from uh, Tony from the Bronx. They're going to fix that, and we're going to be jumping into these games very, very shortly here. As I say that, they're ready. <laughs> All right, let's queue back up. Someone just whispered me, can you tell me exactly how long a hot minute is? And uh, I must say, chat, a hot minute... I don't think it's, a, it's about the length, it's about... The just, temperature. Yeah, it's nothing to do with length. Yeah, there's different variables to a minute. I mean, if we're going to get yes. really into it, that we're, we're looking at time here, and time can't really be defined, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just put your clock in the oven, leave <laughs> it in there for clock. a minute, leave it in there for a minute, take it out, that's a hot minute. Oh, man. 
Oh, baby. Like cold minute, put your clock in your freezer for a minute, take it out, now you got a cold minute. It's very symbolic. It's all about temperature. It's not metaphorical at all. Girth length. Hello? What? All right, there is a glitch in the matrix, giving him just a couple hot minutes. Sniffing Pickle did just donate $5. I'm going to go read that message right now. Here we go. $5 comes out from Sniffing Pickles. I made a website in 45 minutes. Can you show it to people? All right, hold on. Can you show it to people? You can find what stream a person is watching. Okay, I'm really scared to go to this. I'm going to do it. YOLO! I'm going to this link, boys. I don't boys. like hearing you say YOLO, because if something happens to your computer, then everything goes down. D-Machine52. Submit. Wait, I have to choose the game? Type a Twitch username below, and we'll see what stream they're watch They're currently watching. Okay. What stream they're currently watching? Okay, so they're in World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor, I think. Scanning. Whoa! It scans every stream. That's so weird. All right, guys. Shout out to my boy Sniffing Pickle. It's this weird thing here. Twitch find me. It's an interesting tool. All right, both teams are ready. We're going to try this again. For whatever reason, the Spectator War Game. There we go. The Double War Game request has gone out. We should be getting into the, this game very, very shortly. Yes, that is the cue. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome to Ruins of Order on. Uh, it is Kids of Freak going up against Tony from the Bronx. This seriously intense matchup is only a best of three. Very cutthroat between these two teams. I'm so excited to see what happens. I mean, it was so close last game. But here we go. Is Tony from the Bronx going to be eliminated here? Going up against a very strong WLS. Or are they going to bring it out 2-0 and make their way into the loser's bracket semifinals? We're going to find out here very, very shortly. Yeah, and I imagine Runes of the Lord around the Cleve centered map. They're going to be going abs after Absturge once again. Um, Smexon going to be able to swap to Hot TKO as well, though, so we're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, Tony and Losa both taking the tomb now. He's going to get charged up by Smexon. Haunt's coming out from Gorecki already onto Tony as the dots get loaded up. Dispelled before the UA. Clutch dispelled by Hot TKO. Removing that quickly. Absturge, though, already at half HP into the full shockwave. Tony using the shamanistic rage to stay offensive onto Absturge, bringing him down to 43% HP. Trying to keep the riptides rolling. Unleash out now as well. Gorecki pops a Dark Soul. Stormbolt swap over to Haunt in the back line. Uh, Smexon going for the Reckless Displace from as well. Not taking him as low as I would have expected. Absurd Absurd still at 50%, having a hard time. Now, finally, the damage sinking in. The NS can have to be used out from Hot TKO. Absurd at 40% HP. Drops the Windwalk Totem to keep his team offensive, but it might be the first link here. Uh, he does get oh! locked out on his cast at 40% HP. Loso is going to get triple stunned, though, by oh, Gorecki man. here, giving Absurd time to get a cast off. The pressure still sinking in, though. That triple stun, man, so prime. The double shockwave lands from Losa on the Absurds and the Gorecki. Absurds dipping lower and lower, and just the onslaught. There's no place to run on Ruins of Lordaeron, and Absurds is a little bit scared, but it look, is there a DC? Uh, I think, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he's back in it. <laughs> I don't know where he's just charging in, and then the game continues. Uh, Losa having a bit of a lag spike there, and both teams just looking like they were stopping. So shout out to both of these guys with the sportsmanship. But let's look at the overall pressure coming uh, out from Goreki. <laughs> oh, is it happening again? Oh. What is happening? He cries up. Barskin comes through. Still at 20%. Smexon trying to push Hot TKO over the edge. Tony Jr. spamming out the heels as well. His ascendance is going to be fading along with his pressure. Absurd's line of sliding Losa right now. As he gets charged up, he has to use the regen heal. Hot TKO having a hard time after that disconnect. But Absurd still can't bring his health above 50%. Uh, he does tremor the fear here. Double stun onto the DPS out from Gorecki. Once again, gives Absurd the time to get that big heal off and top himself back to 70%. Tony rotting down. Losa rotting 
sliding down. Hot TKO into the full fear. Tony not able to tremor, it seems, maybe out of range. Uh, he does get the tremor down now. Hot TKO pushing in with the NS. Tops off Tony, keeping him offensive, trying to push in on Abs. Here's a 30% HP here. <coughs> Fire Little Totem laid out. Uh, Tony spamming the purges on the Riptides here. Triple Shockwave landed up by Losa. Abs here just a trinket. He drops the Spirit Link, playing very safe for his team here. They want to keep the pressure rolling, but even in the midst of all that pressure, the mana seems fine on both sides. 40% HP on Absurge, double Shadow Fury lands, going for the big healing surge, gets another one, even going for a Lava Burst now. <laughs> He's going to get Winchard on the Lava Burst into a charge stun. The Rens are thrown up now. Smexen's Bladestorm is fading. The oh! Thomistic Rage is oh! going to for Tony as they push in to finish the job. And in the midst of a DC, Bloso, Tony Jr. finishing off Absurge there, uh, playing very safe to begin with, and now that safe play backfiring. What in the world, man? Dying in a charge done, it's just so ruthless. But shout out to both of those teams playing so, so well. Tony Jr. and Hot, they, 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 they kept their team alive regardless of the DCs. Regardless. And now all of a sudden, we have a tie game, boys. Kids of Freak going up against Tony from the Bronx. They're both here to compete, man. And in this best of three series, we are down to just one final game. Yes, we are. And where it's going to be? I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and ask these guys. All right, boys. I'm going to go ahead and get in contact with these teams. I'm going to figure out. So because Tony from the Bronx team did win that round, I need to figure out what composition they're going to be playing going into the very last and final round. Um, but that being said, if this uh, Kids of Freak, the WLS, have multiple compositions available to them, they very well may get an advantage from uh, being the losing team coming here and they also get to choose the next map yeah and um, I think they're gonna go with Tolveron something big um, uh, where they go like it's more kiteable ish it's, it could backfire too because Smexen can get pulled away by the resto druid and rooted behind pillars if he overextends too far so I don't know. Tolveron could backfire. If they go Tolveron, they're going to have to sit on the DPS uh, quite a bit. And really when the WLS gets their pressures, when the Shadow Fury comes out with the Storm Bolt onto the Resto Druid, um, that for that three second period, all of their dots get to tick with nothing mitigating it. And that's when the damage starts to sink in. And if they can connect that uh, multiple times in a row, that's when you see the pressure really starting to sink in onto how to TKO and how much healing he has to output. So we're going to have to see if they do decide to go uh, with Tolveron, or if they go with something maybe a bit more conservative, like uh, Tiger's Peak. Good uh, point, it's, yeah. it's up to them. Uh, I don't, I don't know the where they're going to bring it, to be honest with you, man. Um, actually, they just actually told me they're going to bring it to Dollar and Sewers. All right. That makes sense. All right. I did get a donation, though, from the one and only Khaleesi, a longtime supporter of GCD TV. And the note reads, I effing love you guys. I effing love what you guys do. Well, I effing love your support, man, because you're amazing. You're always coming back here and sending us some support. And so I thank you, Khaleesi. I even had to watch a video on how to pronounce your name. That's how much I like you. <laughs> I know I'm going to start a riot with this, but I actually don't watch Game of Thrones. Hello? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be right back. One of these teams do need to try to reset their router, reset their things, and uh, we'll be right back. Y'all ready for this? His team is just rotting, though. Maldiva doing so much damage to everyone. Is he a live lord or is he not? Vanish cheap shot, can he counter kill? The back <laughs> comes out, he's going to die. Kid on the Nesper now, half HP, Nesper pulls it out. And he just flops! Are you wow. kidding me? Dude, this Red Paladin team is here to play. Welcome to EU, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, guys. This team's not quite ready just yet. Taking a quick look at the bracket, we are currently in losers round three. Kids of Freak going up against Tony from the Bronx. And then after this, we will have the loser semifinals, which is going to consist of our Monk Sucks versus the winner of this series. So that's all coming up next. And then after that, of course, we have the finals with Nice Ones Are You, Asper, Majidin, 
Felora running that Mage Boomkin Holy Pally team being so successful. That's all coming up next. Right here at GCD TV. We're going to be jumping into these games very, very shortly here. We have a little bit of technical difficulties. Shout out to all the, the, the homies who are turning that ad block off to help support us. Uh, we do rely on our... Um, we do rely on our ad revenue significantly. So, uh, the the ones who do help us out in that way, I thank you. And if you don't, I do recommend doing it as uh, we never play ads when, uh, when in the game. So, you'll never miss a beat of the action uh, by turning that ad block off. But, we're going to be uh, going through this tournament very, very shortly, guys. But, uh, I guess I have a, a few minutes here to, to in other news. In other news, I've been uh, doing some 60... Uh, PVE with some homies. You guys probably heard about that with uh, Mr. Chance Morris himself and uh, a couple of other friends, Clutter included. I'm really excited about it, man. I think we're doing it on Sunday, so if you want to tune in to me um, running some level 60 dungeons and no heirloom gear, just trying to try hard that stuff with some good buddies, uh, definitely tune in to twitch.tv slash dmachine52. And also, if you're interested in some multi-classing PVP, I do recommend watching this guy right over here, right over, this guy right over here, his name's Supertees, twitch.tv slash gladiator Supertees, definitely check him out and hit that follow button, he's constantly playing new and exciting things with some awesome people. I personally, Supertees, have been enjoying the games that you've been playing with uh, Mez. Like it, dude, learning yeah. a new class. Yeah, dude. You it's nice to have people that are willing to put up with it and like help you be like, okay, that you screwed that up, and I can just be like, yep, I did. All right, I won't do that. That's nice to like uh, being able to see what mistakes you're making it can be hard on your own. So if you have somebody else to be like, yeah, you really suck at porting. <laughs> like, you should you should have put it here and then go here, and it's like, oh, okay, and then suddenly you're much better at it. Whereas if you never get told that, you might think, well, I'm I'm porting. I, am I doing it wrong? You don't really know. So having somebody to like coach you and help you is really helpful it's so true dude it's absolutely so true i actually made a video that that touched on that uh where um it was a video on when i broke 2450 with my buddies uh, i actually made a video because a lot of people are asking me uh what com how, what i did against certain teams and so i made a video that kind of explained like you need partners that can tell you when you're sucking and, and you can't rage about it <laughs> Because getting feedback is really the biggest thing about this game and getting better, personally, what I think. Like, I like playing with people that are like, dude, you gotta do this different. You know what I mean? Not like losing six more games and getting frustrated and just quitting. I like people who are just like, do this different or we don't win. You know what I mean? But it's tough. It's a really, there's a fine line between giving good feedback and just being a wiener. So, it's a, it's a tricky situation. But, shout out to Mez, man. He is the nicest player in the world. That dude is so nice. Secretly Batman. The Australian Batman. <laughs> He's Australian Batman. Lie to me! Yo, you but, have to uh, say that in an Aussie accent. A stereotypical how do you, Aussie wait, accent. Wait, how do you... I don't... How would I, you even say that in a stereotypical... I, I'm try, we need to get somebody that has the accent to do it, I think. I don't think we can. Lie to me, mate. That's... That, Is that good? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> is that good what? hello oh my god. oh he's from new zealand god oh. new zealand people still say mate okay is it it's like it's like canadian saying a it's like it's only some parts of canada that say a <laughs> it's only some parts of canada that drink out of bags when what? People tell me I drink out of bags. I don't drink out of a bag where I live. We do apologize for the slight delay, guys. We are waiting on just a team to reset their router, try to fix their lag issues, as there was a bit of lag uh, last game, and hopefully we can have a nice, fair, and exciting last series or last round of this best of three series. This is in the losers bracket, and these are some amazing teams. Both teams extremely capable of going to the finals. We have Tony from the Bronx going up against. Uh, I forgot the name. They changed their name. Kids of Freak. WLS versus, uh, it would seem a Turbo Cleave, so. Or they also have Warrior Mage Druid and KFC available to them, so who knows what they're going to be running. Super Tease probably does. <laughs> but, uh, that's all going to happen very, very shortly, guys. It's currently tied up 1-1 to -one in a best of three series. So the is next this, game... Is this the semifinals? No, nope. it's not. We're not even there yet. Oh. Yeah, and also the loser semifinals, we changed it to just best of three. 
So, and then the oh. semifinals are best of five, and the finals are also best of five. And then oh. everything else is best of three. Okay. Let's go. I can't! He's still not ready, man! <laughs> Hello? I'm running out of time. I know, I know. I should let everybody know ahead of time that uh, in an hour from now, I'm pulling a Houdini. All right, Tony from the Bronx is ready as you say that. And uh, I believe, what's the, what map did they choose? They chose, okay, they chose Drowland and Sewers. All right, okay. here we go. The war game request has been sent out here. We're going to jump into it. Thank you guys for being so patient with us here at GCD TV. I really do appreciate it. But here we go. We're going to jump into this game, the very last game of the series, Dollar Land Sewers. What? What are you looking at? <laughs> Hello? I'm, it's, it's not safe. I'm insane, it's okay. Insane in the membrane! You remember that song? I do, but I don't remember anything other than that. And then it goes, in insane in the brain. Anyway, this is the last round of this best of three series in the loser's bracket. Kids of Freak running WLS going up against Tony from the Bronx's Turbo. So far, it's been a very exciting series here, and this is the last game in this best of three. Whoever loses this is going to be eliminated, and whoever wins this is going to go to the loser's bracket semifinals. Here we go. The gates have opened right away. They're going to be jumping onto Smex and a Team Tony looking for Goreki. Uh, they're going to jump onto Goreki, but I'm assuming Absurds is going to be the kill target here very shortly. As I say that, they're swapping over onto Absurds. Absurds running to the <laughs> to the pillar as fast as he possibly can, but Smex and trying to get offensive onto Tony as they push in here. I'm sorry, onto Losa rather. Losa now popping that recklessness onto Absurds, dipping down to 30% health here. He's got to be careful, but at the same time, Tony and Losa are both taking that clean damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, both teams are feeling the heat. Charge stun onto Absturge, Iron Bark, and Shamanistic Rage used onto Tony to try and answer the amount, immense amount of pressure that Smexon just output there. Gorecki now popping the second Dark Soul. Try and take on a TKO down into the Storm with no trinket. Rallying Cry comes out. Tony desperately off healing him. He's going to Shadow Meld and Displacer Beast to safety. Surviving that swap. Clutch Rally and heals up from Tony. Keeping Hot and alive for now as they're trying to connect on Absturge. He does get bashed. Los is going to charge him. Tony reconnects. Gorecki gets locked on on the UA and now kids a freak on the back foot at 40% HP oh. smashes up after dipping low double shadow fury giving him the time he needs to get the healing surge out now a storm bolt on to hot and Tony dipping low no sham rage for 17 seconds after pops the ascendance as well as the aura master getting some big heals here providing a lot of AOE healing sustaining all of his team's HP bar uh, he's gonna get charged done now and he's back to that 50% HP mark Tony reconnects Smexon gets knocked down by hot he's gonna charge back up hot preemptively in bear form however keeping himself at a reasonably healthy HP margin right now. Astor's trying to line a site. Los, the capacitor totems down. They're going to chop it up. Cloudburst gets chopped up as well. Double Shadow Free comes in. Healing Surge connects. Both teams equalizing for now. As I say that, though, the Storm Bolt and Shockwave on both sides. Yeah, the Shockwave on the Absurds, man, into the fear. Uh, but he's going to get out of that. He's going to tremor out Groreki. But Absurds still in a bit of trouble. The Safeguard going out on Absurds. Uh, Smexion just trying to save his Shaman's life. Tony Jr. reconnecting, though. Uh, Absurds did catch a couple heals there. That's going to be very significant. Hotted now being put into that full fear. But he's going to get switched to into the Storm Bolt. He doesn't have a trinket for 15 more seconds. This could be detrimental. The Haunt goes out as well into the DR Shadow Fury. But on the other side, Absurds is taking the Deeps. Man, he's jumping down to lower and lower. Rallying Cry being forced out of Smexon and the Spirit Link as well. How did TKO force to use that Iron Bark on himself? He stabilized with it, but both of these healers are scared at this point, and we're not even in dampening quite yet. Absurd's going to catch a couple more heals here, but as I'm saying that, Hot is just taking a whole bunch of damage. He's going to get catch that Storm Bolt, but he has to trinket it instantly as Smexon is going to Heroic Leap and connect uh, once again, but on, on the other side of the map, Absurd is getting connected by both of these melee. This Turbo, the Double Shatter Fury, coming out is going to let Absurds catch himself a heal and that it's a big heal at that Absurds still taking a whole bunch of pressure he's going to gate away but Los is going to heroic leap and connect again 
Yeah, Absurge at 50% HP mark again. He gets charged stunned down to 20% into the full shockwave. Has that trinket. He's going to use it. Drop the second spirit link. And now he has no big line of defense for cooldowns uh, as they're still connecting here with the blade storm. 30% HP. Haunted in the meantime having a bar skin. Camping the bear form. Haunt is up on him. Smexen and Roddy low. Greki at 70%. Haunted at 50%. Throws the bash onto Smexen. Trying to kite away from him. He gets the nature swift. It's going to top himself. Absurge with the ore master. He gets feared on the cast he's not gonna be able to top himself into the charge stun shockwave gonna be available here shortly for losa absurge has to kite away and avoid the stun he drops the wind walk totem he fakes the wind share shadow fury connects shockwave is available now for absurge it's gonna come out no links no trinket 40 percent hp remaining he did brief stone form the stun triple fear gonna land up from smex and desperately trying to uh, appeal for absurge here how did tko dispelling the dots once again playing far back <laughs> absurge gets locked charge stun connects back at 50 percent hp here 40% HP, Greki trying to output some counter pressure here. Ascendance gets popped by Tony, trying to finish the job on Absurge at 40%. No link. Ascendance comes out in 8 seconds. Can he survive that long is the question. Double Shadow Fury is going to land here. The in bash. Full bash! 20%! It could be the game! Safeguard in execute range! 9%! 3%! And Loso Tony Jr. going to be taking out Kids of Freak 2-1 on Dalran Arena. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable play coming out from the team. Absurge also having that spirit link coming out, but that full bash coming out from Hotted really did secure them that kill. I mean, he had that spirit link. He had the opportunity to uh, to to get himself back up, but I, I guess he just wasn't expecting that bash into Shockwave, man, and that's what does it. There it is. Tony from the Bronx a are going to continue in tournament number 15. To the losers semifinals and that's what we're going to be doing here very very shortly let's get these teams ready and then we have tony from the bronx going up against our monk sucks running that miss miss weaver monk tsg so tony from the bronx man shout out goes to kids of free go recce smexin and absurd playing that wls they played it so so well and they are amazing players i hope to see them come and compete again i really do always coming into gcd tv and playing extremely well all right guys so super knowing that uh, knowing the compositions that Tony from the Bronx has available to them, what composition are they going to be playing against the Monk DSG? Probably KFC. 